Redditors who are married to Karens. How is it like? My mom's a Karen. She is self-aware she is a Karen my siblings and I send her memes about it. When my stepdad divorced her last summer we were all amazed he lasted 17 years to be honest. None of us like going out with her it's terrible and my husband just straight up tells her no you aren't talking to the manager when we go in a place. I'll tell you guys a story my step told us. They are farmers and own a small beef and beef farm. They have a store they go to for bee supplies. The owner called my stepdad and asked him to please be the one to pick up their stuff because his staff was tired of dealing with my mom. He is the only one who went to the store for the next five years. Beef and bee farm. Is that a common combination? Do they sell warm milk with honey? A non memi answer. Bees and beef go together quite well. If you're raising steers on pasture, rather than in a feedlot, there is going to be quite a bit of acreage with blooming plants around. The grass feeds the cattle, and the flowers feed the bees. We don't have cattle, but we raise pastured chickens for eggs. I'm looking for a beekeeper that wants to home his hives on my property. I'm just wondering, if your mom is aware of her Karen Ness, how does she react to the memes and to feedback? Like that she's not welcome at stores and as a jerk at restaurants? It's interesting that you guys don't seem to be afraid to point it out to her and yet she apparently hasn't improved. Or maybe she has, like other posters have mentioned. My mum is a bit of a Karen. And we're pretty much no contact now so that should tell you everything you need to know. Whenever we'd go out to eat it's always too cold. They don't have the brand of sparkling water she likes. They've put ice in her drink when she didn't want it. She always has to make some kind of modification to her order etc. The list goes on. It got to the point where if we were out shopping and she said she needed to return something I'd just go somewhere else because I couldn't stand watching her be rude and argue with the staff. My parents are divorced and I live with my dad now instead. Part of the reason I barely see my mom is because I'd have to meet her in public. Go for a coffee or something. And I just can't deal with the way she behaves in these places so I don't go. Not marred to one but my mom is absolutely one. I spend most of my time with her in public apologizing to people after she's walked away. The one and only time it comes in handy is when I've bought cars and had her come in during the price negotiation phase. She's knocked off thousands purely due to how unpleasant she is and how much people want her to just get the HL out of the door. Not married to one, but my aunt is. My uncle is this soft-spoken giant. He never stands up to her in any way. Except once. At their daughter's wedding. She was about to interrupt the ceremony to close a window because she was chilly. Everyone sitting close could hear her whisper, I am going to do it. But I don't want to be an AE. My uncle. In a calm quiet tone says quickly, why stop now? Almost as if his filter just missed this one. I swear I could hear my dad snort two rows back trying to hold in laughter. Karen was not happy. Haha <laughs> that's great. Not married. Four years of a toxic relationship though. I broke up with her on Monday. Again. We're kinda FD financially because of this lockdown so we are just feeling things out for a month before we decide for sure. This cycle is on repeat. I constantly have to cut her off and speak over her because of the way she treats people. Waiters. Sales assistants. Gym staff. Neighbors. Landlords. Randoms we meet in bars etc. Note. We were both waiters at the beginning of our relationship so she has worked in the industry. But still lacks empathy. She blames the waiter if something is out of stock etc. My second major issue. We are both English second language teachers. She teaches kindergarten. While I teach high school. Now that we are working from home I hear how she speaks to her students and it's really opened up another aspect of her personality that I don't like. She will berate a student for not understanding instead of evaluating her ability to explain. SG on three year olds in their second language doesn't fly with me. A lot of her behavior stems from a self-defense mechanism due to insecurity. 
but that's not an excuse. She doesn't realize how mean she is to people. Including myself. I'm a people pleaser that would rather sacrifice my own comfort than someone else's. She expects me to be an AE to people because I'm a biggish guy with tattoos. I don't exactly look soft. It's toxic as HL. Please help. P.S. The SX is so good it rivals most PN. Easily. Edit. This comment is blowing up. I appreciate all the objective advice. It's noted. I do research a lot of self-help and am aware of the codependency and enabling traits in my situation. For those making assumptions based on one comment. Don't be a Karen. Her behavior stems from a self-defense mechanism due to insecurity. I can relate to that. My ex-wife could be a Karen and this was one of her triggers. What made it worse is that usually it would stem from the simplest of things. All the usual suspects that make people insecure like obvious rejections, insults, failure she manged like a normal person but she would find those things in almost any situation. An example would be she missed her train home and called if I could pick her up from the next town over rather than wait for the next train. A whole 20 minutes. When I got there she was waiting on the side of the road and I could not park properly. So I blocked the road and waited for her. She just stood there. When I asked what the problem was she complained, a gentleman would open the door. Once in the car she then complained that I took ages and why can't I greet her lovingly. I didn't really care by then but not once did she even thank me. I would have just preferred she did not default berate me. After many situation like that I realized everything I was putting in the relationship. As a people pleaser. Would come back as punishment. From the Karen. Anyway ex-wife now. I don't regret marrying her. I do regret staying with her longer than I should. That is the only advice I can give. I got back together with someone similar. I drove an hour to pick her up from the airport. Had to park and walk to the terminal. I knew on my walk there I had FD up. As I was too late to be waiting for her when she walked through the gates like in the romantic films. I was right. She was pissy with me even though we hadn't seen each other for months. She expected the fairy tale reunion in her head and when she didn't get it she sat and stewed for the 5 minutes it took me to arrive. You want help to keep from getting back together again? Imagine next time you have this mind blowing SX. She falls pregnant. Imagine sharing parenting with someone who teaches 3 year olds and SS on them for mistakes. Your child. Being shat on. By his, her mother. And very little you'd be able to do about it. And you'd be tied to her forever. Even if you did finally leave for good. Go find better dude. You can do it. Edit. Oh. Wow. Left my phone upstairs to charge and look what happened. Thanks for the silver and the votes. They're the guys with couples profiles on FB. Good luck getting any information from them in full view of what their wives can see lol. My mother is a Karen. If something minor inconveniences her. She blows it up into a huge dun. Constantly complains. Belittles me and has a slight superiority complex. My mom is a literal Karen. As in. It's her name. But she's like a bizarro Karen. She will constantly ask to speak with managers and supervisors and bosses. But when said managers arrive. She unloads about the employee helping her out was fantastic. Hardworking and friendly. And then she'll spend 20 minutes trying to figure out if she and the manager know someone in common. 9 times out of 10 they do. As a kid it would embarrass me. As an adult it's one of my favorite things about her. She makes people feel good about the work they do, and it's really special to watch how wonderful she makes people feel. Plus she's got long gorgeous silver hair. A Karen. My sister S.A. Karen Karen. She spent her life working with the disabled and is currently an essential worker. This is one of my favorite things to do. So many service staff get jaded because they have to deal with constant abuse. A compliment costs nothing and helps make that person feel good. Which makes me happy. It is the absolute best I love my wife. Edit. I didn't write that. 
Blink twice if you're being held captive. Edit. He seems to be held captive. He's under quarantine. Blink 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 blink. Six blinks. This is worse than we thought. I was dating one and she acts as if we're still together. My life has been a living HL. The number of times I have had to intervene to save the life of a customer service rep over Nichols is insane. I've asked for divorce now just a couple weeks ago. Guess how that went over. None of them are on here. They're on shared Facebook accounts named Karen and Dave Smith. I actually know a Karen and Dave Smith. She's not a Karen Karen though. Their daughter is AST though. Sometimes it skips a generation. Whenever I see one of these my first thought is, I wonder which one cheated. Coworker of mine is married to a Karen. He tells us stories multiple days a week how she drives to four different grocery stores and harasses the employees because their stock is low on the specific item she wants. Sounds like he married her to have some entertainment. Is he boring? Colon. D. I'm boring. And I kind of enjoy hearing about school, work drama. And I don't think I would ever make it past having to put up with someone who could be described as a stereotypical Karen. Let alone date. Wait. Because they're. Out. Of the item that she wants. Or because they don't have as much as she wants. Or does she seriously get upset when she gets what she wants and notices that some other people may miss out as a result of this? I'm divorcing a Karen. Nothing was ever good enough. Everything had to be the most expensive thing and even then it wasn't good enough. It was exhausting and it sucked the passion I had for life out of me. Married to one. She doesn't get why people think Karen's complain so much. It's annoying for her and she'd like to talk to someone about this. My mom is a Karen. She thinks the world is supposed to cater to her. Serve her and everyone else is wrong. Once we went to Carl's Jr. She ordered four burgers. For the four of us. She pulls one out of the bag while the guy is getting our drinks and hides it. She complains that he forgot a burger. She pulls them out one by one and counts it in front of him. It's obviously missing because she hid it and he's swearing up and down he put them all in the bag. I'm stunned speechless and it happened so fast. She got a free burger and laughed as we drive off. I am just staring at her and she opens it up to eat it on the drive home. And she ate her actual burger like the fifth one never existed. I can't even explain how she is when she's in the hospital. She treats it like a luxury stay in a hotel. Wow. My condolences. Your mother is a thief. Plain and simple. Her justification would be. They charge so much money for food that it serves them right for me to take another burger. I'm not married to a Karen but someone in my family decided to make a Karen family and let me just say. It is freaking HL. I do not go to any social event if said Karen will be there. Keeps the peace in my family tbh. Nor do I go alone with Karen. She is a nightmare to everyone in her path. From car guards to cashiers. Even her friends. No one can be better than her or smarter than her and she's just freaking exhausting man. The worst part is. Her kids are becoming just like her. Not the kids too. My ex-wife is a Karen. In every sense but name. It was always so embarrassing. She was incapable of treating anyone like a human for the most trivial of occurrences. It was HL for me. As a person that's pretty forgiving and don't seek out confrontation. So in a one word description it was HL. LOL. P. S. She's very codependent and jumps from relationship to relationship these days. Not surprised. Karen. I love my beautiful wife to the moon and back and she is amazing and strong willed. O O N. My husband's ex is Karen. She a classic narcissist. When one of our feral hens started acting aggressive towards other hens. My stepson named her Karen. Karen. Feral hens? Ha ha ha. My sister is a Karen. Everyone feels so sorry for her husband. Everything is his fault. He is treated like a slave. 
She only addresses him by yelling. She constantly insults him. We have no idea why he hasn't divorced her or flipped out and attacked her. We have all told her to cool it and her response is that he's just so stupid. I could go on and on but my sister really is a horrible person. It's 4 p.m. Time for your DK flattening. Yes honey. Well sis. You do make a point. He did marry you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.